People around the globe are gathered to celebrate Diwali this weekend, including in the northwest suburbs. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is in Bartley with more about the multi-day celebration. We are celebrating Diwali at the BAPS Cultural Center here in Bartlett. Now, this space is open to the entire community, people of all faiths, and it's really something so beautiful that you have to see inside and out with your own eyes. Of course, Diwali is a celebration of the new year. Outside the building, you can't miss it. You'll see what's called the mandir. It's made of Turkish limestone. The word mandir translates to place of peace, and it's where the community will come for prayer. They'll also give food offerings inside as part of this tradition for Diwali. Again, today is celebrating the new year. You'll see so many lights, so many different colors inside. There's a beautiful work of art inside the foyer when you walk into the building, it's called a Rangoli, which comes together from a group of volunteers. It's made of sand. I'm talking 200 plus volunteer hours went into putting this together. Now, we spoke with one volunteer, Pooja Patel, about how celebrating the new year is really about bringing this entire community together. And the message of the valley is universal. It's, it's really talking about um, good versus evil and how good always triumph and how, how we can bring light into our lives and in and keeping that positive attitude through every day um, and and that's really what Diwali is about and and the space is open to anybody to come and, and be inspired by that message. Now BAPS is really a community cultural center for culture for charitable efforts and it's a place where we're told you can come here find your peace and then share that piece with the entire community. If you'd like to learn more about how you can visit, get a tour, learn more about BAPS, we have all of that information for you on our website, cbschicago.com. Reporting in Bartlett, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. What a gorgeous space. Thank you, Marissa.